Move over, Pogs and Beyblades, there's a new kid in town. So this is a fidget spinner, which is the biggest craze amongst kids and teens, which may seem weird, and they're really hard to get their hands on. But now teachers are banning them from school, saying that they're more of a hassle than they're worth. So do fidget spinners actually even work? Fidgeting is the act of moving about restlessly. So that could be playing with your hair, moving the ring on your finger, or my favorite, bopping your leg. And since fidgeting is associated with being bored or agitated, that might be one of the reasons why a lot of people get really sick and annoyed by these things. Stop fidgeting. Oh, sorry, sorry. Are you annoyed or something? Uh, no. Are you serious? What? Being told not to fidget can be confusing, especially if you're somebody with ADHD who requires to have some sort of movement to keep you focused. When subjected to memory and learning tests, students with ADHD require to be fidgeting the whole time, and their fidgeting would increase with certain circumstances. Scientists actually believe that this fidgeting allows the ADHD students to focus better and it gets their juices flowing, but even in studies of students that don't have ADHD, they found that fidgeting can increase their memory and learning. Honestly, Sam, how are you so good at this crazy, hard, frozen memorization? I mean, I don't know. My teacher said that maybe this fidget spinner is helping me to focus. Oh, you're allowed those? My mom says there's too much plastic. Wait, does that mean that your mom lets you have white sugar? Yeah. C can I have some? Give me some! <laughs> Fidgeting may help us focus, but why? One theory is that when we're doing tasks that we're not fully interested in, like work or school or talking to our most boring friend, fidgeting is a way to actually have additional sensory motor input that's mildly stimulating enough that it helps us focus on the main task at hand. Fidgeting helps with the part of your brain that's understimulated so that you can sustain focus on what matters. Mm. I had another crazy dream last night. I was nominated for four Oscars, one in every acting category, and it was so weird because it was at a McDonald's, which is my favorite restaurant, but also... Uh oh, really I stopped paying attention to another one of Greg's boring so dream boring. stories. So um, try and focus. How do you pay attention to these stories? He tells them all the time. But... It also made me realize what, about, that I what if I find something to help my brain focus, something to fidget with, like, like this pen? You realize that maybe I really should feel bad for everyone from high school. Anyways, it just got me thinking, and then also like it was really crazy because an elephant came in at the end, like Jumanji, and like stomped it over everyone. And then when I had to go up and accept my Oscar for the fourth time, I didn't know what to say. It was like totally embarrassing. Wow, that was so interesting. In some sensational studies, people have claimed that fidgeting actually correlates with better health. One study looked at 14,000 women and looked at their eating habits, their chronic health issues, their physical activity, and if they fidgeted or not. Surprisingly, the study found that women who fidgeted more had lower mortality levels. Another study also correlated lean women with fidgeting. Correlation does not always equal causation. These studies have some good numbers in them, lots of participants, but it's hard to really say that simple fidgeting is gonna make you fitter or live longer. But that doesn't mean that fidgeting isn't a worthwhile endeavor to study and try and understand. All of the science information aside, fidget spitters were designed to help you fidget, but they have now become this new fad for kids. So children are now becoming obsessed. They need new spinners, they need better spinners, they need to show off to their friends their new tricks with their spinners, and this can obviously make these things become a distraction. Hey YouTubers, check out our new fidget spinner trick. Serve the platter. The elevator. Boop. This one's called Pick the Nose. The helicopter. Thumbs up for Todd. The magician. Shooting star. The pancake. The roundhouse Hanson. It's also worth noting that you don't actually have to fidget with these to play with them. Like, I'm not even touching this and it's still spinning and it's still entertaining. So, I mean, I could see if you're actually holding it and using it to fidget, this is actually fidgeting and could definitely help someone with their focus if they need it, but you gotta be doing it right in the first place. Okay, so let us know if these actually seem to work for you, or if you're a teacher, if you hate these so much. Yeah, they're fun, but I can see why these would be really annoying in class. But I weirdly started to use them all the time, but... Yeah, Greg is actually addicted to them. I had it for like a second. No, it's dumb! I'm bored. Anyway, you can follow us on social media, and we'll see you next time. Peace!